-hmm. Neither is there salvation in any other. There's no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. Jesus Christ. Well, why do we not enunciate that against Jewish, Islamic, Christ, non-Christian religions and cultic structures in the United States that are constantly attacking Christianity? Why do we not respond to them? Why don't we train the young people? Why don't we make a defense of the gospel in our day? And the reason is because we're afraid we're going to get people mad at us. They're not going to like us anymore. They're not going to support our work. And then we're going to get turned off. But do you well, think there's a, a better way to do it? Because, like, if you came on all, all the time, say these networks came on and, and they were blasting. always t blasting other religions. Well, I'm not suggesting that. Instead of maybe teaching them, do, do you think it would help to, like, teach them while they were... If you just tell somebody, hey, you know, this I'm is suggesting... Right. You're right. I'm suggesting balance. Right. I'm suggesting that instead of being all over on the evangelism side and the teaching of the Christian life, we teach also the defense of Christianity. How you stand up for your faith. Listen, you know this as well as I know it. You've had enough experience. Secular colleges, universities, and liberal seminaries eat Christians alive. You send a kid from a Christian home and a Christian church into a liberal situation and into a secular humanistic context and they go in like a revolving door. They're singing all hail the power of Jesus' name going in, and they come out bearded, bathless, and rebellious. And nobody knows what happened to them. Mm -hmm. I know what happened to them. I was there. Mm -hmm. I think you do, too. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any answers and reasons for their faith. None. I'm not suggesting we yeah. go on television and blast all the time. I'm suggesting that part of our television programming, our radio programming, our Christian educational approach take into consideration the necessity of training people to defend the gospel and their faith. But I see a move in some of the ministries on this channel that are getting into an apologetic presentation of the defense of Christianity. Maybe it's taken a while to get there because we're told to love your enemy. Well, loving your enemy doesn't mean that you become John and Mabel doormat. True. And, but I, I and see, Paul and loved I his enemies, too. Mm -hmm. But God help you if you got in the way. That's right. Look what he did to the Galatians. Well, you, you stupid Galatians. That, that's Paul. That's not me. You stupid Galatians. He did. Somebody else used that word yeah. stupid here tonight. I, I... Man, and today, if I said, you stupid Christians, everybody say, oh, Walter Martin is insulting the body. Paul writes, and he takes the gloves off and says, you stupid Galatians, whoever led you away from the truth I gave you. And so soon, how dumb can you be? And he chews them up for three chapters. Right? That's right. I mean, he gets to the Corinthians, it's a good thing I'm not there. Right? <laughs> and it's a good thing I'm not there, because if I was there, That's well, right. look out, you see. Now, what happened to Peter? Uh, chewing away in Second Peter on the people that are pushing the truth into the background. Sure. What about Paul? The people who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. What is censorship but the suppression of truth? If you can't speak, you're violating the First Amendment of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. I'm not attacking the cults. I spent 35 years of my life bringing people out of cults to Jesus Christ. Which is a great ministry. Mm -hmm. Fantastic ministry. I'm not going to attack them. Yeah. I love them. I love them. But you're going to show where they're in error. But if I don't show where they're in error... Then you're wrong. If the, right, I'm wrong. And if the Trump uncertain sound, mm -hmm. says Paul, mm -hmm. then how will you prepare yourself for battle? You see, the me methodology and the philosophy governing the... Christians today in many areas is there is no battle. The only battle you've got is the battle that you don't have enough faith. Or the only battle you've got is you haven't got a new Mercedes. Or you're not healthy enough. These are the battles they're fighting. Or whether Jesus came after the tribulation before it or in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're majoring in the minors. Mm -hmm. And they're forgetting that if you don't defend the gospel, you're disobeying Christ.